这次是我把 Eric 的一个道具给拆开了。这，我我们其实可以看到这个道具啊很有趣，它是我们市面上经常看到的一个扩散板。呃，但是它有一个很奇怪的地方，这是和其他扩散板不同的。大家可以看看，从正面看好像差不多，但是你可以看到它的深度。你看它的深度是特别深的，所以呢，我想让 Eric 跟我们介绍一下为什么要做这么深。为什么和市面上的会有这么大的区别？还有它的木头也是特别硬的，比我们的平时看到的那个重量啊要重很多。呃，艾薇，你要帮我们介绍一下你为什么会做这个扩散板 ？OK， 设计原理。So diffusers come all different shapes and sizes. This diffuser is twenty-four、uh, centimeters deep. OK, now twenty-four centimeter deep、uh, diffuser. Is able to diffuse the frequencies、uh, from about 4,000 hertz all the way down to maybe about、uh, 300, 330 hertz or something. So it does a, a good portion of the female vocal range. So this one can sort of really do most of the high-end voices and then a lot of the high highs.、Um, the deeper the the deeper the diffuser. The deeper the frequencies, a, a good diffuser,、um, the deepest diffuser maybe I would recommend is maybe about 44 centimeters deep, and that will basically diffuse the entire male vocal range. So you'll be able to hear a male voice very, very clearly if you had something about 44 centimeters deep. This allows us to hear a female voice almost perfectly. Okay,、um, and so the depth is very important because you'll notice here this is a shallow one. This goes a little bit deeper. This goes deeper still, right? And you know they go, and then this one comes back out again. Okay, and it's calculated like that because the time it takes from here to here is different from here to here. And so what happens is it's like a flute. So the sound that comes out here is different than the sound that comes out here, which is different than the sound that comes out here. So when they all meet here, it creates a diffused sound. And what it does is it makes it sound like the room is much further back, you, you, right? It it make it, it it opens up the the room a lot, and it diffuses the reflected sounds. So this really、uh, improves the clarity,、uh, and so diffusers are really basically almost as they're basically as good as improving the quality of your wiring. They're basically as good as improving the quality of your equipment.、Um, they make a huge difference in the sound quality. So the depth of the of the、um, diffusion is very important. The ones you see in China are usually like maybe this five centimeters or six centimeters. That only does the very high frequencies. That will not do the singing voice.、Uh, it's just not deep enough to create an effect on that. So、uh, depth is basically the most important part or the most important feature of a diffuser. 呃，通过这个介绍，其实我们会发现，就是需要做的这么深，我们才。呃，对那个全频段的，这比较低的频段的那个扩散和吸收产生效果。那所以我们经常会遇到低频很难解决的问题，我们用扩散板也解决不了。其实不是说呃它的低频是解决不了，而是说我们用的扩散板没有办法去解决那个频段的这个呃扩散和这个多余的这个声波的问题。它和波长是有一定关系的。啊，非常感谢 e v i c 刚刚介绍了这个设计的呃原理。那还有它的一些作用以后，呃，我也想了解一下，它一般应该放在什么位置？它应该怎么去摆放？呃，它的数量的多少是符合那个设计需求的？我们怎么样去判断 ？So if you're listening to music, generally you want this at the back of the room, behind you, and in front of you, behind the speakers. Okay. If it's a music room or a movie room, and you have the speakers all around surround sound, you also want them in the ceiling. Okay.、Um, so basically, what I if you want to get the most value, because if you want to have these around the room, you, they should cover about fifteen percent of the room area. Oh. So about fifteen percent of the wall coverage should be covered with these for the optimal performance. So if you have a bigger room, it's still fifteen percent of the wall area. Um, so that tends to give a better sound. You generally don't want them right next to your ear. You usually want them at least about about one meter, one meter, or you know, optimally two meters away from your ear. That would be the best. 
they should be roughly head height. So if you're going to place them, place them from about, you know, the position about your, your chest or below your chest up to just above your head. And so if they can be on the wall at about this height around your sitting position, that'll also help. And if they can be more than one meter away from your head, um, that's also important. If you get too close to them, mm. it can make your ear a little bit uncomfortable. Mm. Okay. Yeah.